Hey, good morning, my little title tells. Listen, I had to come here, and before I go to the pool, break down what happened with Corey Gamble's testimony yesterday. Now, I covered it a little bit on my live last night. Go ahead and catch the playback, but let me give y'all the cliff notes in this video. That testimony was not good for the Kardashians, and it wasn't good for Corey Gamble. And guess what? It basically exposed Corey Gamble and the lie. Oh, you don't believe me? Just watch. First, let's go over his testimony. Then let's point out the obvious inconsistencies that the Sun, Radar, TMZ, everybody seems to be overlooking and how my eyewitness observers are saying that Lin Chiani dug in it to the point of the Kardashians even looked visibly annoyed at Corey because of his antics. Y'all, let's get into this, but I will just say this. I will just say this. All skin folk ain't kin folk, and that's all you need to know about that uh, trial. Also, you guys, we are doing a recap of today's testimony with our resident legal eagle court chronicles, right? Make sure you turn on your likes and notifications for that. But you guys, also, we're getting into eyewitness accounts. And also, we're getting a little Calabasas tea on how behind the mask, everybody's acting, uh, acting. I know the media makes it seem that the Kardashians got this case in the bag, but baby, they don't. And even more so, it looks like they're worried. And they should be after Corey's testimony. Don't believe anybody that tells you that testimony went good because it didn't, because it exposed Corey. Well, you know what? It exposed Corey for putting 20 on 10, but let's get into this, right? I'm going to read from the sun. I'm going to give you my insight, and then I'm going to mix it into what the eyewitness observers say, okay? Literally. Corey told attorney Michael Rhodes, that's a Kardashian's attorney, I could hear Rob vaguely, and China was screaming in the background. He said it was on speakerphone, and she could, and she, he told the court he could hear her screaming. I could just hear China screaming, F you! him i'm gonna bleep him you fat m upper like in anger all right now okay let's move on because i have something to say now get this Corey said he drove quickly to the house and parked behind the nearest car and accidentally blocked rob in according to the sun now he also said that he walked into the residence china saw him and dropped an object in her hand which he claimed in court was a rod, adding that it wasn't a stick or it wasn't made of wood. So it was either, if he said it's not a stick and it's not made of wood, right? It must be either metal or plastic or something. Do you know any other things that six foot rods are made of? I'm just thinking in America. Let me know in the comments if there are other poly, new polysimid polymers that we don't know about. Anyway, he said, now get this. Corey also claims China was still screaming at Rob and after dropping the object, launched at him with a long phone charger cord, which she began whipping him with. He said as soon as he got into the house, she could hear her screaming that she hated him and wanted to delete him. Now let's talk about these for actually let's get into this because you got to hear the rest of this. And then I'm going to show you how Lynn tore them up from the floor up. Now, Corey described China as angry and intoxicated and said at one point he heard her say i wouldn't like this fat f if he wasn't part of this family he said that he told rob to get his wallet and keys and corey got in the middle of them to physically separate them rob left to go get his belongings okay so again where's the red marks this is all so vague you went from pinning 20 on 10 to now you don't even got a dollar 50 to throw into the pot lynn ate his butt up and again the kardashians were just sitting there shaking their head in frustration because they wanted corey in my opinion to stop but they were really frustrated at testimony and it wasn't because of lynn because lynn was eating him up left and right this is was a big big blind spot from the kardashians but at the end of the day all corey could do was not perjure himself and they had and if you notice over this trial everybody trying to cover it up but if you notice over this trial all these fantastical claims they've made they're like oh well i don't know i don't know i heard i heard i heard i heard i heard but everything is being rolled back let's keep on listen the kardashians were really 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 annoyed black china is a whole foot shorter how is she whipping anybody with a cord? Honestly, an iPhone charger, we all know how long they are. An iPhone charger, an iPhone charger. This is as long as they come, right? An iPhone charger. 
this. This is what took down the mountain, the Dorito aficionado, the Dr. Pepper lover, the Little Debbie oatmeal, oatmeal cream pie fan club. I'm not only a member, I'm the president, Rob Kardashian, all right? She's a whole foot shorter. Out of everything in your house that you can defend yourself with, you pick up an iPhone cord out of everything in your house, your house that you live in, so you know where it is, that you can cause harm to someone, you do that. There's so many things that you can pick up, but you choose an iPhone cord. Woo! An iPhone cord is not what you pick up when you are enraged with someone and trying to hurt them. Is it? Is it? Is it? I ask of you. Is it? Anyway, right? It's like saying... It's literally like saying, honestly, you got beat up with headphones. Now, I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but I'm saying it couldn't happen. That's equivalent to a, not even headphones. I got beat up with AirPods. They threw their AirPods at me. They threw their beats by Dre. <laughs> All right, now let's get into this too, right? And the anti-black woman statements, I grew up in that environment. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Here's my opinion of what happened to breakdown, right? Corey got caught lying on China because you exaggerated what you saw. You saw in your, your own eyes that somehow China was ghetto, China was trash, China was unworthy. Again, also, also China was ghetto, China was trash, China was unworthy. Again, sometimes men that don't like women from their own race, no matter what the race is, they'll sit there and down that woman to the other woman. And I guess the other woman feel insecure. So they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey told us that's how ghetto trash believes, behaves. Corey told her this. Again, that's just my opinion, but take it for what it's worth, right? Now get this. She's five foot. Rob is six feet. Possibly, listen, she's five foot, Rob, six feet, she's postpartum, she has C-section, and she is sitting there beating this man up, all right? Also, the obvious inconsistency that got pointed out on the live by Esquire Robinson. Also, you said you had to get in between them. So again, they were fighting together. It wasn't China attacking Rob. You had to separate them. That means Rob was also coming at China. And if Rob was also coming at China, Maybe this is what you do to literally back that thing up like your name is Juvenile. I'm just saying, what y'all think, Tattletales? Does that sound more likely that Rob was rushing like a refrigerator, giving those little Debbies toward China? And China was like, whoop, 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 trying to back him up. Maybe to me, that sounds more believable, but what do y'all think? Again, in the, in the uh, cross, Lynn ate up Corey. He made a lot of mistakes. The Kardashians were not happy. They were visibly uh, annoyed. Let's also get into this. China carried on shouting and screaming at him, according to Corey. Corey also claimed in court that China threw a chair at Rob's car as he tried to get away before picking up a little patio table, but he managed to wrestle it out of her hand. He also said that Rob, he told Rob to leave China because it was toxic. It was a toxic relationship, telling the jury, I grew up around this kind of behavior. It reminded me of everything. I told him, this is not going to stop. He told me he was going to get out the relationship. He didn't want to be treated like that. Now, let me just say this. Pause, right? Pause. Now, get this. During questioning, Corey got increasingly upset and angry, right? At Lynn Chiani, because Lynn kept asking questions. What are those questions? We're going to get into it. And guess what? The Kardashian team seemed disappointed and shook their heads at the scene. You guys, my sources are saying the Kardashians look like they were visibly annoyed at Corey. Let me give you guys the plot. Forget about Corey's anti-black statements. No, actually, let's talk about them. Let's talk about that because I have actual thoughts on this, right? I really do. I really do. Corey keeps changing his story. You went from having a six foot metal pole. This is what you said in your earlier depositions. A six foot metal pole that you swung at Rob and hit him in the face. Now, and the black China, mind you, is 5'2", maybe 120, 130 pounds. Rob is 6'2". I'm sorry, she might even be five foot. Rob is 6'2". 200 to 280 to 300 pounds. He has a lot of girth behind him. A woman 
that just is four months postpartum with a C-section and a mommy makeover, those are stitches, those are scars. If anybody knows, it takes a long time for that to heal. You said took a six foot pole and was swinging it and smacked him in the face, okay? Now on testimony, and this is what he was getting upset about Lynn. On testimony, you now have a rod. Now, I don't know where they make six foot rods at, but now the rod's not even six foot. Now it's a rod. I could tell it wasn't wood, right? I could tell it wasn't this, but I don't know what it was, but she had it in her hand. Rob's a big guy. In order for this to hurt Rob or leave a mark on his face, one, why wasn't there any? No pictures, no documented, nothing. Second of all, what type of rod did she pick up at her five, two, set, four, set, and was literally holding it? Now you said she wasn't swinging it. Now you said that you only saw her holding it. And when you walked in, she dropped it. Almost as if you had caught her in the act. Almost as if you had caught her in the act. You walk in, she's assaulting Rob. She drops it just that quick, right? So... You guys literally, you shocked her enough that she dropped her weapon of mass destruction. But yet then she picks up an iPhone cable charger and she starts swinging it at Rob. These are some of the questions Lynn asks. Now, hold on. Let's look at how the story just changed. So let me get this straight. You're saying that she was so shocked to be caught in the act of hitting him with a pole that is no longer six feet. It's no longer known if it's metal. And she wasn't swinging it, she was holding it in her hand. But when you came in, she was shocked and dropped it. She then went on because she was so shocked about what happened that she then proceeded to pick up an iPhone charger and start to whip Rob. We're gonna get into the iPhone charger in a second. What you're saying makes no sense. If she was shocked enough and caught in the act that she dropped her weapon, why would she pick up another one? This is equivalent of you saying, I walked in the room and they had a bang bang, but because they saw me, they dropped it because they didn't want to get caught. And then they immediately picked up a knife and committed, tried to commit a crime. These are the questions that the, the questioning that Lynn was trying to get the jury to see. Your story makes no sense. Let's look at another inconsistency. He was caught in and I get it. He's trying, I think, and I'm going to give you my personal opinion. I think he never liked China. I think he looks at China as ghetto trash. Let's not forget his anti-black statements. And for all you black women, you know what I'm talking about. I grew up with things like that. You look at black China as toxic, ghetto, black chastity type of women that you've been trying to escape out of your life. This is my opinion. Type of ex women you've been trying to escape your whole life. And if you think he's not, it seems like every single man that comes into the coven must feel that way about black women. Or maybe it's coincidence, but they all seem to hold those things, right? You're saying that she just ghetto trash, she says that. I think you showed up. It sounds like from Lynn's Chinese questionings, there was an argument and you chose that opportunity to put 20 on 10 and exaggerate and make things look worse, right? Because you don't even like China being around and you don't think she deserves. And you're looking at Rob like, I literally spent my life literally going away from women like that and you're dating them? Oh no, you need to dump her. But let's talk about the iPhone thing. It went from saying, that China tried to strangle Rob with an iPhone charger, right? And maybe, I mean, we all saw, what was it? True, true story with Kevin Hart, right? We all saw it. However, you went from strangling somebody with an iPhone charger, which you witnessed, to now you're in court and to clean up the lie instead of the strangling, she's now using it as a weapon and whipping him with an iPhone charger. If someone is trying to make an attempt on someone's life as an iPhone charger, you have all these things available to you in the house. You have vases, you have chairs, you have cutlery, you have the TV remote, you have your phone. And all this, he neglected to mention that Rob still had her iPhone, right? But you have all these weapons around you at home that if you wanted to really hurt someone, you do. But instead, China launched that five foot China launched at 6'2", 300 pound Rob with an iPhone cable. And instead of the strangling, now she's whipping you with an iPhone cable. You guys, we all know what iPhone cables are. We all know how thin and small they are and how light. Imagine even somebody in a fight 
taking their iPhone to that cable and windmilling it around. Would that stop anything? Would that hurt a 6'2", 300 pound man? Would that be in any way, any type of threat or even violence? And again, see how the story changed. It went from, right, to swinging wildly a cable. The swinging wildly also, which Lynn uh, uh, got into, was she trying to create space between herself or was she approaching Rob? Oh, you don't remember. You only remember the parts, right? You. It seems like he. Anybody only remembers the parts that tra that make Black China a raving lunatic. Let's also go into this, right? Again, he first got caught in the rod, and this is when he got annoyed because Lanciani kept ripping his arguments apart. He got caught with the rod and the whole time the Kardashians were just so upset because I think that he was trying to change his story so it still made sense and he didn't perjure but you had to keep backtracking on all the things you said. Now instead of all this, she literally was swinging an iPhone charger around. But anyway, let's get it. You got caught in the rod. She dropped it because she's shocked, right? So shocked you came in. You caught me. And then you pick up another weapon. And what is this weapon, right? an iPhone charger, Rob doesn't have any marks around the neck. Now she's whipping him with it in his need to exaggerate, in his need to exaggerate. I also think that Lynn was trying to create a thing that the item that she had in her hand might've been a cane or a support device. Something that was for China personally, because don't forget China is post-op from a c-section not even three or four weeks ago from a c-section and also from a mommy makeover that's when they go in and they do everything after the c-section instead of waiting for the c-section to heal and then going back in okay now a six foot rod that a five foot person can hold in one hand where does that exist where does that exist? And last night when I was on my live, I was like, maybe it was a curtain rod. But if there was a curtain rod, I'm sure Corey Gamble and Kylie on the list of damage to the property. Because you know Kylie tried to sue China for damage to the property. It would have been listed as a damaged property. To my knowledge, there were no curtains or curtain rods listed as damaged property when a Kylie tried to make China pay. Now let's go on, right? Also, you could have taken your iPhone out and photographed that rod on the spot. You could have took your iPhone out and filmed her attacking Rob. Again, he was in no mortal danger. If this even happened, and Linciani literally painted a narrative that if it even happened, swinging around an iPhone cable, a, six, a 300 pound, six foot two male to a five foot female that weighs 120 and 130, where's the threat? Again, you guys have been through emails and texts we see trying to break up Rob and China for a while. You've been trying to bury Rob and China for a while by your own testimony. I grew up seeing behavior like that. Again, and this is my opinion, it's giving me anti-black and for all my title types, white, black, Puerto Rican and Haitian, black women in the things, let me know, you know that, that tone, what I think he meant from that, right? I moved away from that, women like that, things like that, right? You left the hood and now you busy being a sugar baby to your 67 year old woman. All right, let's go. And then listen, no shade, Christian or get it how you live it. But Corey Gamble, shut your dumb ass up. Anyway, right? Now get the thing, where are we? It was also said in Chris Jenner's testimony, I think it was maybe Monday or Tuesday, that first she said that Rob called her and she sent Corey over there. Not security, not the police, just Corey. Now, if you guys don't know, maybe the Kardashians would say, we don't like police involved in our business. That's fine. But did you know that they have a full armed security staff at all time? They have ex-retired LAPD officers that work for them on a full-time basis. Kris Jenner was actually even sued by one for sexually harassing him. I think they're in the middle of settling. I actually did a video about that. Go on and find it. Just put in Kris Jenner's name into my videos. It's actually really good. If I do say so myself. But you said Corey by himself by himself mind you your son at that time you know has a weapons permit and rob keeps that weapon in the house even if you weren't thinking rob was going to do something was there any fear that black china might have the bang bang you guys said that black china held a bang bang to rob's head 
Was there any fear about holding a bang bang and that bang bang was still in the house? Where's the fear? Where is the fear? Where is the fear? Now, why did you, where is the fear? Again, Lynn brought this up. You walk into a place with someone that's held a, a bang bang allegedly to someone's head. The bang bang is still in the house, but yet you calmly wrestle tables out of her arms. Tell him, go get your keys, let's go. Where's the urgency that someone whose life is threatened? It's almost as if no one saw Black China as a threat, but they definitely viewed her as a ghetto nuisance and annoyance. And they couldn't wait until Rob woke up until she was out and they did everything they could to wake Rob up, including, 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 including what? Getting their number one hit show canceled. Let's go on, the, now let's get into this, right? You, listen. Again, if Corey wanted to be any type of help, he should have stuck with the choking of the iPhone charger, but they couldn't because there's absolutely no marks and nothing to corroborate it. Rob is not in court, will not show his face. It's even unclear if he's going to testify. Now listen, listen, why? Because the choking of the iPhone, why should they have stuck to that? Because maybe it could have happened. We've seen it happen in movies. Maybe, 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 maybe it can happen. But the whipping, you guys, a 300 pound man, at 6'2 and a 5'5. Five, five. Ow, ow, ow! And Corey had to separate them. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyway, right? At least that would have made your lie more believable, Corey. At least it would have made it more believable. Because at the end of the story, all your testimony showed was you thought Black China was trash and you said, I'm gonna exaggerate to get her the hell out of there. And now that you in a court of law, you have to tone that mess down and you ended up embarrassing yourself and making a fool of yourself, the Kardashians, everybody else. You guys, let's hope all days, let's hope all days in court are like this one because if I was Black China, I would have been, whistle while you try. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let me stop. Let me go grab a margarita. But you guys, got a couple other videos coming. Make sure you turn on your likes, notifications at the very least. I'll see you tonight at 9 p.m. And I actually might pop, on live, a pop up on live in the afternoon if anything groundbreaking happens in the trial. So make sure you have your notifications set. Keep checking the channel. You know how your girl goes. Just pumping it out, pumping it out, run it up, run it up, run it up. Just like Black China's about to run up, run up those Kardashians. But anyway, talk to y'all later. Bye.